circle so you'll be given a plan and a section in this plan that you have today it has five six columns this this column measuring 1500 by 1500 by 400 uh, the footing of the size of the footing of the column and this column is equal to this column this one and this one so there are four columns of the same size then we have this other column uh, which measures 2000 by 2000 by 400 uh -huh. the column is uh, this one and it is the same as this column so these two columns are of the same size the footing measures 2000 by 2000 by a thickness of 400 these other ones as we have said they are 1500 by 1500 by 400 the columns are joined by ground beams you see uh, in our drawing today it has uh, footings of columns and ground beams and we know that we are taking off the foundation of the columns and the ground beams so the footings of the columns of course they have columns and then they are interconnected by these ground beams that you can see. All right. So uh, the size of these beams is 200 by 300. The measurement of these uh, footings is center to center, 3,000, center to center, 3,000. Uh, for the wind, the, the wind is 4,000 millimeters. All right. So uh, that one is the plan. So we have taken section Y, Y. So we are viewing the columns. Uh, this way you see the arrow points this way so we are viewing the columns this way so uh, in the section we shall have this one so the, the footing that measures 1500 by 1500 by 400 uh, we can see the concrete thickness is 400 then below the concrete we have a hard cone of 50 millimeters hard cone the section of this column is the column measures 200 by 200 the reinforcement is R6 then uh, the white, the reinforcement at the corners that is studying is for Y12. All right. Then uh, at the footing, we have reinforcement, which is U. Uh, we are told there are five Y16 both ways. So there are five Y16 this way, going this way. And also, if the column is uh, rectangular, we have uh, Y16 going this way, this way and also this way all right so when you are told 5y16 both ways there are these y16 going this way and the ones going this way all right then uh, from the footing of the column we have these reinforcements that are standing uh, this part of the column is called the stamp then this part which has the white concrete is called the footing the footing is this concrete below here which thickness is 400 the stamp is this column below the ground up to where the ground beam begins then the ground beams the ground beam begins from here to here and we can see this level is above the existing ground level then uh, the reinforcements when they come above the ground they should have some extensions uh, which are ready for overlap you see uh, the column has to continue upwards here it's in the ground so we shall give an allowance to the reinforcement bars for the sake of lapping with the reinforcements that are above the ground. Uh, when we come to this footing of 2000 by 2000 by 400, we can see it's just like the other one. It has a base of 50 millimeters hardcore. The thickness of the uh, concrete here, the footing is 400. Then the section BB, we can see that the size of this stamp or the column that is going upwards is 250 millimeters by 250 millimeters. The type of reinforcement in the stirrups, the stirrups are these reinforcements that are um, going round and round and round with a spacing. Uh, it's uh, they are are six. Okay, the, the reinforcements at the corners, which are going upward, they are standing, they are 4 by 16. Alright, so uh, the reinforcement at the footing, it is 7 by 16, and it's both ways. So this way, it's 7 by 16, and this way, it's 7 by 16. Uh, this footing of 1500 by 1500 by 400 is the same as this other column. Alright. So uh, we shall begin the takeoff of the columns together, uh, the columns in the foundation together with the with the stirrups. Uh, the the takeoff uh, 
list will include we shall do excavation work which will involve uh, the removal of 150 millimeters topsoil for footing only then we shall uh, do concrete we shall measure all concrete work for the stamp and the footing we have said the stamp is that column below the ground before you get to the ground level the footing is that wind part of concrete that is under the column we shall take off the formwork we need to measure that then we shall measure the reinforcement steel bars uh, key things to remember when you're taking off such a diagram is that the reinforcement uh-huh we shall we shall have some assumption that we use basic assumptions in reinforcement one is that the lapping is 40d meaning uh, if the diameter of the bars is y12 the diameter of that bar is 12 millimeters so if we want to take to calculate the length of the lapping we shall take 40 times the diameter which is 12 so 12 divided by thousand to make it in meters we shall get 40 times 0 0.0 one two for steel bar from footing to column the lapping from the footing to column the column above the ground that overlap that needs to be to be left uh-huh it's 40d then uh we have a uh, length of bending for reinforcement shall be 5.5d what do i mean by this uh the bending is this uh in reinforcements we always have they look like this it's a straight bar then it has bends at the corners at the ends this bend if you want to calculate the length of this bend you will take 5.5 times d so if it is y12 uh so it's like d12 you'll take 5.5 times diameter which is 12 all right the length of the hook for a link shall be 24d uh the link it's the star wrap you see the star wrap is usually like this Uh huh, like this. Then we have reinforcements at the corners. Uh huh. Yes. So uh, this the length of the hooks. These hooks at the corners uh, to calculate the length shall be twenty four. These are basic formulas that we shall use. Then uh, the cover for the concrete at uh, the footing. The concrete cover uh, shall be thirty millimeters. And for the other members, like the ground beam, it shall be twenty five millimeters so these are some of the things you have to note when we are taking off then we shall now begin the taking off uh, in the taking off we have said that we will begin with excavation works uh, when you are doing excavation works we need to measure mm -hmm, we need to measure the size of the column footing so that we can be able to know what volume of soil we need to excavate all right so we shall begin with the excavation of the top soil the top soil is 150 millimeters thick from the existing level we shall excavate the top soil at the footings you see uh these are the footings of the columns that we have we have these these footings so uh when we are excavating we need to come and excavate this area this area this area this area, this area uh-huh or everywhere where we have the column footing we excavate the topsoil then we excavate for the for the footing so uh what is the volume we shall excavate in this column it shall be 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters the area for this one shall be 2 meters by 2 meters 1.5 by 1.5 so in simple how many 1.5 by 5 1.5 1 2 3 4 so you will find out that we have uh, four columns which measures 1.5 by 1.5 we shall go now to two for two mm -hmm, we shall have two point by two there are two columns so uh it shall be two columns measures two by two all right so uh when we come to uh calculating the total area that we shall excavate uh, a volume of soil of 150 millimeters thick it shall be 2 times 2 times 2 then uh, multiplied by 150 the thickness of the soil all right so 2 by 2 by 150 which is the thickness of the soil to get the volume of the soil shall get 1.2 then uh, for the for the other four columns 
which measures 1.5 by 1.5 to get the volume of the soil shall be 4 multiplied by 1.5 by 1.5 by 0 0.5 so that you can get 1.35 so the total volume of soil that we shall excavate shall be 2.55 meters cubed uh, in 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 books that gives you guidelines for example if you're using the smm you know uh, taking off will deter will be determined by the type of guidelines that you use for example in kenya we use the smm if in case we are using the smm the smm instructs us to calculate to excavate the topsoil uh in terms of area so we shall not put 1.5 here we'll just take the areas alone then we shall write uh, excavation of 150 millimeters topsoil from existing level then we shall multiply by uh, 0 0.15 to get the volume here in the description column but this one is for the general uh, guidelines that you can use. This is the method. Then you need to go and, and check in your, in your guide if it's the SMM, if it's the NRM2, if it's the ARM4, ARM4. So you can be able to use your guidelines in taking off. So this one is the uh, general uh, taking off. Uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe. And if you like this content, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Let's continue. Uh, after excavating the top soil, we shall go to excavating the trench depth. You see, at the footings, we have excavated uh, for the top soil. At all footings, we have excavated the top soil. Now we need to go down and deeper. So uh, we need to dig those holes for the columns. So uh, you can see from the section, uh, the footing, which is one, 1500 by 1500 by 400 from the ground level. This depth is not for the topsoil alone. We can see it is going from the ground level up to the base of the column. It is 1850. Then we have 50 millimeters for the hardcore. So the total depth shall be 1850 plus 50. All right. So um, we need now to uh, excavate the remaining part. We have already excavated 150 millimeters top swing, and our total depth is uh, it's 1850 to get down here, together with plus 950 here down. So the total depth that we are excavating is 1900. We have already excavated 150. So what depth do we need to dig further? And that is when we come to excavating here. So it shall be 1850. We deduct 150 for the topsoil. We remain with 1.7. Then we add more excavation for the hardcore, which is 50 millimeters. We get 1.75. So we need to excavate a total volume of the length the width of the column base, then a depth of 1.75. According to guidelines, this one, you ex you excavate according to uh, in ranges. For example, um, in the SMM, we are told to excavate in ranges of 1.5 meters. So you will excavate the first 1.5 meters separately, then you will excavate the remainder separately if it does not exceed 3 meters. All right. So, um, for the volume of soil that you excavate using the first 1.5 meters, you'll take the size of the footing, which is 2 meters by 2 meters, then the depth is 1.5 meters, because we are excavating in ranges of 1.5. If the total depth is 1.75, the first 1.5 will be separate, so it shall be 1.75 deduct 1.5, it shall be the first uh, range shall be 1.5. The second one shall be the balance, which is 0 0.25. So when you're excavating the volume of the soil uh, for the columns, it shall be the size of the column, 2 meters by 2 meters. Then the depth is 1.5. How many columns measures 2 by 2? 2. 4 columns measures 1.5 by 1.5. Then the depth of excavation is 1.5. So the total volume of soil we shall excavate using the first range which is 1.5 it shall be this 12, 12 and this one 13.5. So this total volume which is 25.50 it is excavation from of trench depth not exceeding 1.5 meters any range that is less than 1.5. Then we go to the one exceeding 1.5 meters but not exceeding 3 meters. 
so um the the volume of the soil shall be the length of the footing is two meters by two meters then the extra depth which is 0 0.25 for two columns for the four columns shall be 1.5 by 1.5 by the uh, remaining depth which is 0 0.25 so the volume shall be 2.25 and the first volume is 2 so the total volume of soil in the next range of 1.5 meters it shall be 4.25 meter so what is the total volume of soil that we have excavated? The total volume of excavation shall be these 2.55, 25.50, and 4.25 meters cubed for the excavation. All right?